Hello and welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. Perfidious Albion is famous for its weird ways and bizarre bastions, its tantalizing traditions and its ominous oddities. In this video, if you are prepared, I would like to talk to you about one such oddity found in the northern county of Lancashire, in the small town of Pendle. In the year of our Lord 1612, three generations of one family were hung until dead at the Lancaster gallows. Their crime? Communing with imps, plotting to destroy Lancaster Castle with foul sorcery and over a dozen murders by magical means. Witchcraft, in short. There is no question as to their guilt. Elizabeth Southerns, the eldest of the coven, had been known as a witch in those parts for most of her 80 years, but it was the testimony of her granddaughter Alison that cemented the charges. Tales she told of dark deeds committed on Pendle Hill. Alison told a strange tale indeed. The group led by her grandmother Elizabeth from the nearby Pendle Forest, communed with the devil, exchanging their immortal souls for incredible temporal power. They had suckled the devil to their teats on Pendle Hill and flown about the town of Pendle by night, killing livestock and afflicting terrible maladies on townsfolk. What's more, Graves were disturbed by the witches for their own nefarious needs, whilst terrified neighbours fearfully paid tribute to the witches in the form of oats and gifts, hoping to avert the witches' wrath. It had only been the death of an outsider, a peddler called John Law, that spurred the community to act. King James I, the first monarch of Great Britain, loathed witchcraft and ferociously pursued any report of sorcery in his realm. This was an age of fear and would see hundreds of other trials, thousands of other witches tortured to confess and punished. Yet what makes the Pendle Coven so remarkable is the fact that this information was given freely without any need of turnscrews or the rack. Only one of the accused ever claimed innocence, a wealthy local woman by the name of Agnes Nutter. It is said when the hangman fixed a rope around her neck, she still pleaded her innocence of any wrongdoing. It is said the other nine to be hung merely smiled. The events of 1612 are far, far in the past a macabre relic of a more primitive age, perhaps. But if that is true, why then, on clear and moonlit nights, can one still see a faint, flickering light coming from the peak of Pendle Hill? Why do people claim to see dark figures seeming to take to the air? Why do people report laughter coming from deep in Pendle Wood?